Hello, friends of Bin Tracker. Yes, the day has arrived. I've just released the Bin Tracker source code on GitHub, so uh, you can all check that out now. Uh, well, it's been quite a ride. Uh, I've just checked the the first commit to the repository was on August twenty eighth, uh, two thousand eighteen. So. Uh, been nearly nearly two years uh, and since then I've done 857 commits and written uh, 7842 lines of scheme code not bad I think well so uh, what's being released today well it's a source code release this is not uh, the a proper build yet you have to build it yourself uh, for the time being and also I've only tried to build it on Linux um, should probably be doable to build it on Mac and uh, certainly on BSD um, but yeah I haven't, I haven't tried it yet if any of you try uh, and get it get it to work on any other system then please let me know how you did it and uh, yeah, I'll add it to the to the build system. Um, well, so of course, Bin Tracker at this point is not complete yet at all. It's not a finished product in any way. It's uh, it's still quite buggy. There's a lot of things missing. Um, but I think yeah, the shapes are slowly starting to emerge from the from the chaos, and I think by now you can kind of start to see where this whole thing is going um, so the question is should you be using bin tracker in production now uh, no definitely not it's not that far yet should you check it out absolutely yes and I think yeah you can already have some fun with it uh, at this stage um, so, but yeah, that's it. Bin Tracker at the moment is like a big construction site with very poor safety measures. Well, there's no rails, there's no guards, whatever. So, yeah, if you enter the site, bring a helmet. Okay, so what's done since the last time? Uh, I've rewritten the build system. Uh, so uh, bin tracker now builds nice and clean out of source well mostly um, and um, well the more important part is I've uh, more or less completed the edit system so um, yeah we'll check that out in a bit the other thing uh, yes I have added a new engine Mm, it's nothing too exciting. It's it's uh, Quadropic, my uh, one of the first beeper engines that I wrote. Um, but yeah, at least we have another one, so that's something. Uh, also, been working on documentation a lot. There's still there's still uh, quite a few things missing, but mm, yeah, it's getting somewhere. Uh, and last but not least, I have added the plugin API. Uh, and I've been trying to get some plugins uh, off the ground, namely a uh, plugin for MML. Mm, but it's super buggy at the moment, so I consider it not done. Um, yeah, so well, uh, let's quickly check out the new uh, the edit system mm, because I think there's some quite nice features in there that uh, you might enjoy. Uh, so let's fire up this thing oh yeah one one thing to note um, now oh, let's get it going I'm uh, I'm using uh, a proper ZX Spectrum uh, ROM uh, to emulate the spectrum I will not be shipping official ROMs obviously uh, for legal reasons uh, but I have included uh, the OpenSE basic from, from Andrew Owen, uh, which is open source. Um, so that's what you're gonna get. Uh, main does not like that ROM. Uh, it will complain that, oh, this is invalid. Just hit a button and ignore it, it works fine. 
Uh, okay, so, well, um, how about let's uh, do a little, oh, let's let's do the classic uh, Ehrlich Project arpeggio. If you, if you ever uh, want to sound like Ehrlich Project, you just have to do this. Yeah, okay, so um, copy and paste. Well, uh, works pretty much like you would expect, right? Uh, but it has some funky features as well. For example, how about uh, if I mark this section, what's going to happen is this. It's going to fill up the selection. Let me resize this a little so we can see a bit better. Um, yeah, so if you're lazy, you just want to uh, do a manual arpeggio and you want to be lazy about it, just uh, do what I did uh, there. Um, yeah, so uh, another thing that, that uh, I've added, uh, and if you've ever used the bin tracker prototype, you will remember there was this dot command, like you hit dot and it repeats the last value that you set. Well, uh, that's exactly what we have here. Um, yeah, but there are more funky things even that you can do with copy and paste. Uh, for example, let's go to the beloved REPL. Let's do this. Uh, Yoda. Yoda creates uh, uh, a list of, of numbers. Mm, let's do this. Let's uh, start it for up. Right. So what you can do now is you can take this list, and you copy it, and you pop it in here, and that works. I think that's uh, that's pretty sweet. It even works like okay. Let's let's go over here. Uh, let's grab this little list here and uh, yeah that works as well um, so yeah that's pretty neat I think um, and uh, okay just to quickly show what this Quatropic thing is about let's copy this again and um, yeah, so Quattropi can do uh, fast slides that you can use to simulate a uh, kick drum. Yeah, enable this, and uh, there you go, you got a kick. Uh, yeah, maybe some bass notes, and maybe another kick here, and a bass note. And it also has a noise mode. Um, for noise mode, um, for noise mode, you want to use some high note because uh, you need to feed it some seed for the to the random generator, and high notes generally work better with that. So um, yeah, this A5 works pretty well. Um, and uh, so that's what we get. Well, that's all I wanted to, to, to show you for now. Um, so, uh, next steps. Uh, what's going to happen next? Um, the thing that I really need to do is uh, fix and expand the assembler. And uh, <coughs> that also means adding new instruction sets for, for uh, other CPUs, that, because right now we only have uh, Z80 support. And more CPUs means more uh, platforms that we can use, and more platforms that we can use means more uh, sound engines. So, yep. Also, uh, Windows builds. Um, I want to get started on that soonish. Uh, well, what else? Upgrading the documentation system. Again, there's still a few things uh, missing and it, it has some hiccups, so it drops some of the auto-generated um, uh, documentation. Yeah, well, well, I'll get to that. 
Uh, also, what I would like to add is uh, simple sequence mode, so that uh, you don't have to, you know, deal with this these quite complex matrix uh, sequences. And also, I want to start adding um, alternative tunings and uh, support for microtonal uh, uh, tunings, no, microtonal scales. Uh, that said, um, I have some real life things coming up that are going to get a bit in, in the way of Bintrack development. Um, so, uh, as things look now, I will be, I will continue to work on Bintracker for a couple of days. Um, fix, fix some of the bugs that uh, you will probably notice when you try out uh, bin tracker and that kind of thing. But then I am probably gonna take around two months of a break from, from bin tracker development to take care of my uh, personal stuff. And I'll return to development by the end of the summer. So uh, yeah, hopefully things will uh, stay on track for the planned um, first beta release in Probably late uh, autumn. Uh, yeah. So, um, well, at this point, uh, I think it's a good moment to uh, to um, spread some thanks uh, to all the people who have supported me with uh, uh, with been tracker development so far, and that, of course, includes all of you, just because. You know, uh, if you're interested in this thing and you're excited about it, then I can be more excited. That's that's a great thing. Special thanks to um, the uh, the chicken scheme uh, team, especially uh, Felix, who has helped me a lot uh, with uh, tricky code questions and that sort of stuff. Uh, thanks to ADKD and to Nian Passu64, with uh, whom I've had some interesting discussions and uh, been throwing ideas around. Uh, also, thanks to Alone Coder, with whom I discuss quite a bit of the Libemdel internals. Um, thanks to Shiro, uh, who inspired basically the whole idea of. Uh, Emdale uh, with some things he was throwing around on the one bit forum. That's basically, yeah, he's to blame for all of this. So, uh, yeah, thanks for that, Chiro. Um, a massive thanks to my girlfriend who has been supporting me throughout all this time. Uh, can't can't uh, thank you enough for that. Um, yeah, and last but not least, uh, also a big thanks to Ketskel Electronics, who uh, who sent quite a sizable donation my way. That's really appreciated. Thanks, dude. Um, yeah, speaking of which, um, you have been mentioning on and off that I'm going to do a crowdfunding campaign. Uh, I will do that. Um, when the beta is uh, is ready, there's no point in doing that before. But that said, um, if you already want to send a little something my way, that's highly appreciated, of course. And uh, yeah, put a little uh, PayPal uh, button on the side for now. Um, but yeah, okay, so so much for now. Um, please go and check out the the source. Um, let me know what you think, of course, report bugs and stuff. Uh, I'm gonna put the link to the repository uh, in the description. Well, of course, you can also just go to bintracker.org and grab it from there. Okay, well, that's all for now. Um, thanks for watching, take care, and bye-bye.